Sometimes, click, pops, and digital impulse noises can ruin a listening experience. The declick module inside Isotope RX automatically identifies these problems and removes them. We're going to clean this recording using the declick module in order to remove all these digital errors. All right, we're back in our session. Right now over here, I have a clip which has a lot of digital clips and errors introduced within the recording. I'm going to let you hear that. Ciao, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and remove all the clicks you hear through the Isotope RX Declick in this tutorial. All right, kind of a statement I did over there. Now, let's see how Isotope RX can actually um, interpolate these clicks and remove them. I'm going to select that. Actually, I have already made my playlist, as you can see over here send it into Rx, and there it is. Ciao everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the clicks you hear through the Isotope Rx declick in this tutorial. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open the declick module over here, and here you have it. Now, the declick module has a couple of very useful algorithm to learn and to use. Now, the first algorithm, which is the default one, is the single band. Single band is optimized for very narrow and digital clicks. Instead, the multiband and periodic option is for wider clicks that might contain, uh, you know, low and high frequencies. In this case, this might be our, our favorite between this and the multiband random click. Now the multiband random click the differences with the periodic click is that is optimized, especially for audio restoration, let's say vinyl. And then we have another option called low latency because this option allows you to work with this module in low latency within your digital audio workstation. Now I'm gonna go ahead and choose multiband periodic clicks. And as you can see over here, we have a frequency knob. Now this frequency works only with the multiband and dragging it to the left or right, you can choose between low frequency and high frequency content in terms of targeting where the clicks are. Now, right next to it over here, we have what is called the click widening. Now with this click widening, you can actually targeting primarily the, the, the width of a click. And again, the key here is how to adjust the sensitivity knob. In other words, to remove clicks, you, we're going to be using the sensitivity. And, um, and the way it works is that it's a sort of like threshold which detects and interpolate how many clicks there are per samples. So click are generally very sharp and percussive um, uh, breast of sounds. What I'm going to do right now is to fade out a little bit more the waveform view to let you clearly see the clicks. All right, so from here, what I'll do is to use my time tool to make a selection. And then I'm gonna use a feature called preview. Now preview, what this feature will allow me to do is to play back the source and mess around with specific modules or specific tools within the module. So right now I'm gonna play around with the sensitivity tool until I find the best threshold for my sound. Now with the sensitivity, I don't wanna go too high to the point that I'm gonna start listening um, the actual speech because at that point I will introduce a lot of artifacts on the final product. What I'm going to do is using the output click only to hear only what the, the click module will interpolate and the actual sound that will be extrapolated. In order to do so I'm also going to set my algorithm to be multiband and periodic and through the preview button I can now go ahead and mess around with the sensitivity knob. All right, so from what you could hear, a lot of the clicks have been identified. I'm going to just lower a little bit the frequency skew to kind of like detect a little bit more frequencies in the lower part of the spectrum. Let's see.
as you can see that the click module has identified 728 repaired clicks. Now if I'm going to deselect the output only and preview this. Ciao everyone. I'm going to go ahead and remove all the clicks you hear through the isotope RX click in this tutorial. I could use actually my compare button to hear the original audio and the declicked audio. So the original. Ciao everyone. I'm going to go ahead and remove all the clicks you hear through the isotope RX and the clicked. Ciao everyone. I'm going to go ahead and remove all the clicks you hear through the isotope RX click in this tutorial. And this to me sounds already much better. Now what I'll do is render the audio. And from what I could hear, there is still some low end plosive, which I might going to reduce with the deplosive module. I'm going to just hear it back once again. Ciao everyone. I'm going to go ahead and remove all the clicks you hear through the isotope RX click in this tutorial. Yeah, there are some, a little bit of the low end that was introduced from the click. So in order to remove that, I'm going to open the deplosive module. And even though we're going to be talking about the deplosive module later on, I'm going to just give you a quick run through. So the deplosive module is rather easy to use. It has three functions, sensitivity, strength, and frequency. Now the sensitivity lets you determine how strong the plosive has to be before the module actually tries to fix it. Through my strength control, I can determine how much correction is applied. And the frequency, um, the frequency limit pretty much allows us only to set the range um, of the plosive frequency that will be affected. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to leave my sensitivity at 6 and mess a little bit around with the strength. The frequency limit is at 100 Hz, which I, I might take this uh, as I think that the, the, um, the actual plosive is around that. And I'm going to mess around a little bit with the strength, still with the preview mode, which allows me to preview the audio and mess around with the content. Ciao everyone. I'm going to go ahead and remove all the clicks you hear through the isotope RX click in this tutorial. I think it sounded great. I'm going to render this. All right. So with that in mind, we're going to highlight both of them. And as you can see here in the history, we have the initial state, the first pass we did with the click module, and then the deplosive. So you can always go back state by state just in case you want to review or change things that you have done at a specific point. So with that in mind, I'm going to go back into Pro Tools to make sure my selection is still there. We are on the second highlighted file, which is good. I'm going to send the file back into Pro Tools and render this. All right, so we have our initial sound. Ciao, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and remove all the clicks you hear through the isotope RX click in this tutorial and our declicked version. Ciao, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and remove all the clicks you hear through the isotope RX click in this tutorial. And this is, again, a fantastic result that could have been achieved only with Isotope RX. All right, this concludes our declick module section. I'll see you in the next module.